Hey everybody, this is your weekly wisdom from Sterling Johnston Real Estate. Today we're going to talk about focusing on your strengths. And this is a concept that I see in real estate and also in other areas of life where there is a tremendous amount of attention on, on improving our weaknesses, getting better at the things that we're not very good at. Sometimes that's important if you're a real estate broker and you're not very good at the contracts or if you have no interest in the contracts until you can hire somebody to take that off of your plate, you have no choice but to get good at that. It doesn't mean you have to enjoy it, but and that would be nice if you did, but you have to get good at it because it's a critical component of your business. Now, but in the rest of your real estate business, where, where we're talking about lead generation and, and that type of thing, which is really 80% of your business, if we're focusing and we're trying to constantly get better at things we're not very good at or don't enjoy, and some examples might be door knocking or calling expireds or some of the different things we've been traditionally been told in, in real estate that we should like, that we should do, open houses are another one. Those things aren't for, for everyone. And, and I could rattle off a hundred different things, different choices of lead generation activities that a real estate broker should do. And you might say, well, Eric, I, I don't wanna do 99 of those. I'm not good at those. That's fine. What is the one thing or what are a couple of the things that you really enjoy? Maybe face-to-face -face interaction is your thing. I have brokers in our office, they love writing personal notes to their clients and it works for them. And it works because they love it and their clients feel that care and attention coming through that interaction, even though it's a handwritten note. So for you, is it handwritten notes? Is it client parties? Is it dropping by somebody's house? Uh, it can't be nothing is the other thing here. There has to be some activity that you do in real estate, ideally that you enjoy, where you are engaging with your database and getting in front of them in some manner or other, because otherwise it's gonna be very difficult to have a career in real estate. But it's not that difficult for us to find one or two or three different things and really blow those up and enhance those so that being a real estate broker isn't just a job or something you have to do, but is something that as you weave it into your life, it's something you thoroughly enjoy and look forward to doing. So focus on your strengths, take a look at the weaknesses. If they're in critical areas, yes, get some, put some attention on those, but really on the lead generation side, focus on the, on the things that you are great at and good at and enhance those. That's your weekly wisdom. Thank you so much. Go out there and do great things, brokers. Thank you.